With Lochester rerun and Aventurine's release on the horizon, I've seen a handful of people talk about how Lochester's value has degraded quite a bit. I think that this is true, and this made me do some more digging and thinking about the differences between abundance characters and preservation characters. I think both paths have their strengths, but I feel 5 star limited abundance characters specifically have more problems. The way healing operates is that your team needs to get damage, and then your abundance will provide healing through their abilities. On the other hand, preservations like Jepard and Aventurine slap an extra coat of defense on them and prevent the damage before it happens. Fushuen is a little special where she mitigates the damage by redirecting it into her massive HP pool. If your team is squishy, they could potentially die before your healer has the chance to get to heal them. Obviously, this could be mitigated by having your healer's speed to be a ridiculously high amount, or if they've got an emergency healing ultimate, you can choose to hold it until that time comes. And that's a lot of things to take into consideration. Another thing you can do to offset this is to build defensive stats on your teammates, which is a thing you can easily do on harmonies since you only need speed substats for most of them to function. The, uh, the only exceptions are Ruin Mei and Sparkle. But it's quite hard to justify building these stats on dual carry comps, and especially on nihility units like Gwei Knife Fen that require those substats for E. HR, attack, and speed, while still having one of the lowest base HP and death stats in the game. To visualize the problem, let's say your unit have 2k HP. It will take 2k damage to kill them, so if your enemy deals 1500 damage, you can get them back up through your healers with a 1.5k heal. On the other hand, if your preservation character can shield for 1.5k, then your units will effectively have 3.5k HP. And even if your enemies deal 2k damage per Per turn, your units will be left with 1.5k. Instead of getting one shot, they will get whittled down, but with today's content, you only ever see parties dying from one shots, CC combos, or mismanaged SP. Preservations don't really come with these problems. The only problem that they have is that their shields can wear off if your units take consecutive turns through action forwards. Next up is the intrinsic nature of cleanses and effect resistance. Now I understand that this is mostly on a case by case basis, Bailu doesn't have a clan and Jepard doesn't have a way to prevent debuffs. But generally, Abundance units have a way to cleanse either through their skill or some other ability. While Fushuen has CC prevention through her skill, and Aventurine boosts his entire team's effect resistance. Cleanses remove debuffs which is nice, but their drawback is that if your ally gets entangled or imprisoned, the action delay from this effect isn't cleansed, and your AV is still brought down. And this sums up the theme of both paths. Preservations prevent you from getting debuffed or getting one shot in the first place, while abundances need you to get the debuff or to low HP before they can cure you. If you've gotten this far, I typically nerd out about game mechanics frequently. If min-maxing is your vibe, consider subscribing. If not, then I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Now these problems are intrinsic to the mechanics, and there's no direct way to fix it. Slightly increasing the cast's base stats and lowering the amount of shielding that units do will actually balance out the difference between the two paths. But that requires Hoyaverse to make a change to pre-existing characters, which they never do, unless uh, you're Zhongli. So instead, let's tackle what they can do in the future to address this. First up is that they could give abundance units more utility, whether it's damage reduction like Bai Lu has, minuscule buffs, or even dispels. I acknowledge that Huo Huo and Locha already have these things, but I will also note that both Fu Shuen and Aventurine have it as well. The buffs that they give and the utility that they have are around equal in power, and I think Abundance should have a little bit more so that they have an edge over Preservations. Preservations already outclass Abundances in terms of sustaining, so they should throw the healers some more utility to offset this. Secondly is to add some interaction with the enemies and Abundance units. As of now, Sam's gimmick is to reduce healing received from allies until he broken, and the Soda Monkey's gimmick gets reflected by shields. 
Sam is anti-abundance, and the soda monkey is pro-preservation. I'd appreciate it if there were enemies that were the reverse of both of them. Perhaps an enemy that eats shields, and an enemy with some kind of healing threshold gimmick. Lastly is that they really need to give these characters better signature light cones. Genuinely. All of the DPS and support signatures have mostly been goated, while both preservation and abundance cones have kind of been lackluster. It's just that that abundance characters suffer more because these cones don't patch up their problems as stated before. In conclusion, I think that Locha and Huo, Huo are still decent characters with their own strengths. It's just that Fu Xuan and Aventurine will be comfier for sustaining and preventing one-shots. If you've got any questions, ideas, or suggestions, please leave it down in the comments and I'll be sure to respond to them. That's it from me, my name is Kite, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya, peace.